Hey there, everyone. This is Okao, Sat Petapon, and Saucepans. You're all here. You're watching this, maybe. I hope. Let's take a look. I think this is about the right time. We've got like one game waiting. And yesterday I finished, uh, like in this morning's video, you know, I finished the main game of AAT. I don't know how much long there is left. But also, I think this is just a good time, so let's do it. Hey there, everyone. We're doing one of these. So we're going to be choosing four games today. Uh, I know I tend to change things a lot with this system. But it's because I want it to be perfect. So I li I'd like to iterate a lot. You know, pinpoint the things I like less. See what I can do to fix them up. And uh, that's how it... Like, I'm still pretty happy. Like, Royal System, still very happy with it. Not changing that. Um... Polls, I think people are generally happy with those, but there's one thing that does bother me about them, and that's what something we're going to address today, uh, which is why I'm going to try something after the poll, which will lead to three. But also, people, you know, I came to realize that actually a lot of people in the audience do value when I actually legit choose my game without any gimmicks and whatnot. Like, I, I know people have told me that a lot in the past, but there's always a part of me that's like, oh, well, they're just being polite. They're just being nice. I mean, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take that into consideration. But I think that was actually secretly, uh, without realizing it, kind of rude of me to be dismissive of that. Because, no, okay, like, there's legitimately probably... A lot of value and you know and that people want to like go out of their way to tell me that I should just choose what I want to play sometimes and so what the thing I want to do that would have replaced me just choosing a game well instead now there's just a fourth game that's going to be decided where I just choose what I want to play no gimmicks no sunlight nothing all right all right that was the intro part we got 212 hopeful royals in there. Shuffle them up a little bit and press the spin button. And what happens? If you want to be a royal, go on my Patreon, join, and then go on the first po pinned message with a potato. And you get put in the list. And if you get picked, like a Bubby Boy 2! <laughs> Bobby be Bobby boo Bobby boy but Bobby Bobby boy two. <laughs> the two's really funny. And well, you can be like Bobby boy two and put three games right in my face by filling up the Google form, and I will choose amongst those three. All right, I got a bunch of stuff taken care of. So as always, so that's the thing. Like so, uh, I have access to your Google form. I can look at the game you chose. But if there are any changes or anything you want to confirm, anything like that, just just look look me up. Find a way to contact me. Discord's probably the best way if you want to contact me with the least delay. And tell me if you want to change any of the games. If you do not get in touch with me, I'm assuming that what you gave me on the form is what I'm going to be choosing from. All right? Sounds great. Fantastic. <laughs> 701 game. Soon to be 700. <laughs> That's so dumb. Alright, so I'm going to be spinning this wheel five times, asterisk. And then uh, everyone in the pad pond, there's going to be a link. It's going to be a post with a link to a website where we can do some rank voting and you're gonna vote vote the five games in order of preferences and the winner wins and i'm going to be playing that game in the future so i'm just going to be spinning and we're going to see what they are reminder that i give myself right a veto for any game for any reason i find compelling shuffle 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 all right let's see what happens so uh, here's the first game we're gonna choose and this time, I'm not going to totally scam the thing by really em emphasizing a game in particular, hopefully. It's kind of how Anodyne won. Vampire Killer, the original. Wait. 
Wait, wait. October 80. Which game is that? Vampire Killer <laughs> on the MSX. So clearly, this is a game that has escaped um, the all the Castlevania. I was thinking, look like a game is like half an hour. Oh, that's what I was wondering. So like, it's related to the first Castlevania. All right, I'm gonna change this a little bit then. Um, I'm going to make this basically Castlevania. The original Castlevania on the NES. And, like, it'll be like a game pack. And I'm gonna include Vampire Killer on an MSX and maybe another game too. Just, like, basically, let's call it early Castlevania games. I think that should be, like, really interesting. Alright, well, that's definitely a first thing to get. So, yeah, classic early Castlevania. I played Super Castlevania 4 uh, before on the, as, as, uh, you know, I just played it <laughs> on the channel. And I do want to explore, like, I feel like the entire, and I played, yeah, that's right. I did play uh, the PlayStation uh, Symphony of the Night a, a billion years ago. And it is, like, I feel like there's a lot of interesting things going on with the series. And that would be another interesting step, I feel like. Now, early Castlevania, what was happening with that series is a story about a guy and his whip destroying candles every day. Well, I don't know if every day, but often. Risk of Rain! Oh, that's a that's a, like that's like a game. Risk of Rain. Uh, Steam launch. Makes sense. Take a look at that. Oh, that is a lot of menus. What? <laughs> what is... What was that HUD? But yeah, I think this is a... Um... Game where, like, you go, like... It's a... I don't know how you can survive. Like, it's a roguelite? Like, it's a... What's the word I'm looking for here? Longer play, the harder it gets! Like, I'm a... I think it's... Like, like you know, it's one of those, like... Like cycle based games, like a roguelite. Like you get better, you get better, yeah, you discover th some things, you upgrade, and then at some point you just die and your run is over. So it's a run based game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I don't remember a whole lot, I'm gonna be real. Oh, shipping details. Oh man, finally, I can detail all my shippings. But I think this looks genuinely like. I, well, I remember thinking this looked genuinely pretty neat. It still does. It's it's very pixels. Yeah. See, like you do things, can unlock things. I haven't had really a run-based game yet, right? Run-based games have uh, appeared before in various um various no two playthroughs will be the same. Like, we had run-based games appear in, in, in the contest before, in the polls before. They had yet to win, which, fair enough. But, uh, maybe this will be the one? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like there's a... I, I think I remember there's kind of an emphasis on multiplayer, which I will not be using. I'm just gonna be playing on myself. Uh, so, I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. I still think this looks neat, but man, the, the the trailer, that's a pretty rad jellyfish. I think this can be interesting, and even if it's a game that is endless, there is value in just like playing until I feel like I did what I could. Like, that is pretty interesting in of itself, I'm pretty sure. So Risk of Rain, it's available now! There might be rain, See, I, and I'm playing Rain World too. So you don't, you need to not, not mix those up. This is a risk of, Rain World, there is rain. But here, there's the mere risk of it, you know, it's different. Alright, risk of rain returns! Risk of rain! Alright, what's next? So, this, we got classic Castlevania. We got risk of, there's a possibility of rain. I think it might even rain today for real. Uh, thank you for the weather forecast, picker wheel. Uh, str oh, I don't think I can play that. 
Let me check. All right, never mind. It works fine. So Scratch Panic is a treasure game. That's right for the PlayStation 2. It looks super wild and weird, and that is a very low quality video on IGN's channel. But uh, there's not really a trailer for games of that era. Like it's just kind of a, a bad time for that era. But I mean, it's a treasure game. I bet it's gonna be great. And yeah, like, I played God Hand, uh, in my current setting, and, like, it worked fine. It worked super great. So, I, it looks like it's completely, like, uh, like, it is playable, compatible. So, Stretch Planet, I wish that, I wish there was a better trailer. Like, I don't want to see, like, another Let's Play or whatever, because, you know, like, I don't want to spoil myself as much as possible. But Stretch Panic, I mean, it's a treasure game for the PS2. That, in and of itself, sounds pretty exciting to me. Alright, things are going. Let's do it again! Three games, as of now, like, so we got, like, you know, a Konami game, got a treasure game, and we got, like, more indie thing. A lot more modern, but still, like, not super new. Alright, and game Proto Raider. I don't know if I know what that is. Well... <laughs> That certainly looks like something. <laughs> oh, that is a long, long trailer. All right, sorry about long. That looks super cool. <laughs> okay, so it's a game from 2015. That is Mega Man sound effects we're hearing. Just flat out. Okay, so, uh... Oh wait, are you not able to like, are you like forced to move in a direction? Like that's what it looks like it's happening. <laughs> oh, that's fun. See, I, I thought that, I thought that the trailers as of that, we were missing something like super weird. There you go. Here's our super weird <laughs> game. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know, like, it looks weird. That's a key, I'm guessing? Okay, it's not a bird, it's a key. Yeah, it looks like you can't, uh, turn. You are going in a direction, and you have the ability to jump, it looks like. I am... <laughs> the blatant Mega Man sounds are making me laugh. There's a boat! Mm boat! Mm boat! This is- I don't- I feel like the trailer is just, like, outright gameplay of levels in the game. Like, it's not really- it's a- it's not really a trailer. So like, here's some levels I made. There are the levels I like the most. So I just kind of move forward to the end here. But okay. That is super weird. I don't know. Like, I don't know how it is by a game, but just the concept is super neat. That was <laughs> Proto Raider. That just looks so odd. All right, fifth game. I'm not sure which one is winning right now. Honestly, like normally I can sort of like start to get an idea, but with these four, I'm I really don't know. And number five, the things. Oh boy. Well, okay, never mind. I think we have a winner. I mean, I shouldn't say that because the reality is I don't know. I know a lot of people in the audience enjoy Pikmin, and some people absolutely enjoyed my run-through of Pikmin the first, and I enjoyed my playthrough of Pikmin the first. Although I was told that I would get destroyed by the second one, so hey, if that's something you want to see. <laughs> but beyond that, no, yeah, um... I can see the classic platform-liking crowd maybe huddle around Castlevania. And, you know, Stretch Panic, maybe that's a gem a lot of people want to see out of nowhere. I could see that squeezing out forward. Like, honestly, any... It's not foretold, but it's always funny when, like, a big game kind of pops up. We shall see what happens. And this goes to what I was saying. Like, there's always a sense that there are games that it is very unlikely... That they will, like, ever win a poll. Just through the nature of, um... 
you know, how they work, of how, you know, they re rely on the interest of a plurality of people. And so that will tend to sort of converge into a specific kind of game. And there's some weirder games I feel like probably are never really going to get an honest chance, right? Like, that's just fact. Like, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm just describing things as I've experienced them through through the years. So, welcome to the Wheel of Chaos 2. Don't be worried. So, yeah. Most predominantly, you see 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And a whole bunch of other fun little things. Um, so, here's the, here's, here's the magic here. The, the current vote is going to be for the number one placement. You're only choosing number one. Don't worry about it. We did a third place wins at some point in the past. And while it was funny... Uh, the chaos didn't make things silly, and it does just kind of make your vote feel less meaningful. So this, we will apply to the previous run, the previous poll. I still have access to the results, and I know the first place has won. So here we are giving a second chance to the games of the second poll, of the previous poll. And as you can see, I've made this... A little bit skewed, where second place has the biggest wedges, then third has slightly smaller, fourth has slightly smaller than that, and fifth wedge is like barely higher than some of the gimmicky, more meta wedges that are also there. I think this should be fun. It's a second chance we're giving, and it's a bit weighted in in relationship to the um, the results, and also. It's not even guaranteed one of those games will be played because we can get into one of the stranger meta options, fun options. We don't know what's going to happen. I think some of these you can sort of figure out what they're going to be about. Uh, the other ones, I'll explain as we get to them. I've tried a few things, like by trying to balance this, by like trying to maybe give more wedges, things like that. But, uh, oh, it's just on the border. Never mind. So like I said, sometimes we're not going to go back into the previous poll. Instead, we're just doing it. I'm going to reload my big game, my big list of game without the games that were picked for the poll. Uh, the, the, the poll. And whatever game it lands on. No matter what that game is on, uh, that's the game I'm going to play. Just complete chance. Here we go. Great way to inaugurate Chaos Wheel number two. All right. 695 games. I'm going to play one of those. I still give myself a right of veto. Obviously, uh, you know, something can happen and that would be sad. We don't know what would make me glad oh, that was a poor rhyme <laughs> <laughs> oh boy Lakitu's adventure 2 remember Lakitu's adventure 1 I bet you don't well I'm playing the sequel <laughs> all right fine it is decided. And as for the R zone, finally. Uh, well, I'm going to be... So like I said, I'm just going to choose a game. In a few days, the Slayer Princess, the pristine cut, is going to be released. So by the time I get to it, it will absolutely be out. We're returning to Slayer Princess. We've went through our narrative run. So we're going to return there through Seek Out Pass and... Play it more like a video game, for lack of a better word. Lakitu's Great Adventure 2. It is five stars. So that's pretty good. Yeah, 12 exit. Standard hard. Good hack. I like the music scores in them. May I know what you use in one sentence. Really grad hack. Could do with some improvement, but really great overall. Giant Mario head with a thumbs up. What else can you ask for? Alright, so we're done. Bubby Boy 2. You know, I've, I've got your games on the side, but if you want to do some changes, if you want to 
talk things through or something or whatever. Get in touch with me. It is your task to get in touch with me. Otherwise, I'm just gonna assume everything is good. For the voting people, uh, Castlevania, Risk of Rain, Stretch Panic, Proto Raider, and Pikmin 2. One of these games is slightly more popular, but I mean, I mean, two of them are pretty well known. Stretch Panic, though, that's a treasure game. Treasure games are like all amazing. I'm just saying, Stretch Panic, I feel like, could be a lot of fun. Risk of Rain is a complete unknown, like in terms of how it would go, being a run days game. Proto Raider, I just do not, <laughs> legitimately don't know anything about. Uh, but it looks neat. I, it, it looks neat graphically. But yes, vote. Please go vote. Please make your choice. As always, I'm gonna give y'all a week to put your vote in. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, for people who are on the Petapon, thank you very much for making this possible. Uh, making all of this possible, making it possible for me to do this. I do not thank all of you nearly enough. So, uh, I hope you, at the very least, accept this thank you now. See, look, look this is what the Wheel of Chaos looks like. And the weights and everything. This kind of gives you a good idea. Just realize, yeah, random spin has more chances than fourth place. Is that and then third place? Is that fine? Maybe it should be equal to third place. Well, the good news is that this is very easy to tinker with. <laughs> All right. See y'all, 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 y'all's.